In this video, you will learn how to take a 2D image of your choosing and turn it into a stamp for leather using the Shaper 3D app for iPad and a 3D printer. So what you want to do is find the image that you want to turn into a stamp, take a screen grab, trim it down to size, you only need the outlines here, save it. Open up your Shaper 3D app. This app is free, although there is a paid version that comes with more features. Uh, for the purposes of this video, everything here can be done with the free version of the app. So this is your home page. Hit the plus button to start a new design. Give it a name for fun. And we're up here in the units. Uh, let's start with centimeters. Now import the image that you just screenshotted. So go up here to the three dots, hit import, photos. Oops, that's not what I want. Let's try that again. There's the rhino. All right, that's totally fine. It just kind of came in at a, at a funky size, 3.4 centimeters by 2.5. We can totally change that. Uh, we'll start by amending the size to, let's say we want it a stamp that's three centimeters wide. And it adjusted the other dimension accordingly. So it's proportional. All right, so there is our stamp. I double, double tapped it there. And what we're gonna do is just use this line tool up here to simply trace out the geometry that we see here. So I'll zoom in on it so I can see the edges and I'll just do one of these. You can zoom in. That's a start. You don't have to be super precise if you don't want to be. All right, so there's our 2D geometry. And oh, we wanna make sure that that is fully closed. Actually, let's go up here to the top left and hide the image that we just imported. Okay, see, it didn't close. The sketch was not fully closed. So what I'll do is here, I'll go back to the top, connect these two lines. That's better. Okay. So now we have closed geometry there. We'll just select each closed geometry individually. Like so, we will use the extrude tool. Uh, you can see Shaper 3D automatically put me in the extrude tool tool how to use it is you just drag up that arrow you go up or down i'm going to go up 0.3 centimeters so three millimeters and there's our 3d rhino now to make this into a stamp uh, because right now there's one two three four five six seven eight individual bodies uh, what i will do is just create a square or what will eventually be a cube attached to this geometry so I'll create a new plane with which to do that. Go up here, hit add, construction plane, offset. That's fine, we'll do an offset plane from down here. Next, done. Okay, so there's my plane that I just created. Now let's see. If I can simply make a circle, not a circle, a rectangle encompassing all of the geometry that we've already made. Let's see what happens. Okay, so you can see it 
did not select the rhino shape, but we can also add those in. Because what we want all of these bodies connected eventually. One more foot. And there's our rectangle. We'll also do three millimeters, so 0.3 centimeters. And uh, the extrusion of that rectangle actually was already set to union. So all of this geometry here should be one body. Whereas if you were to select new body, they would the, the body that we just created, this rectangle, the block is now separated from these individual bodies. But we can go back into our history here and change that extrusion type from, uh, let's see, new body to union. And this should all be one body now. Union. Well, that didn't take. Maybe it's because the plane wasn't exactly connected. So what you can do instead, or also, is just select all the bodies and then union them after the fact with this union tool over here on the left. Done. Okay, so that's now all one body. So there is your stamp. And uh, what should aid in the 3D printing product is to curve off some of these edges because a sharp edge like that might not, might not print well. So I'm just gonna uh, select the edge and then drag it out to make a chamfer. Um, and I'll do that to any of the edges. Oh, there we go. Suppose not a chamfer, a fillet. Okay, and there is our stamp. Easy peasy. Now what we got to do is turn this into an STL file, uh, put it into our slicer, and then 3D print it. So let's go up here and say export to STL file. And with the free version of the app, you won't have the option to select high resolution. You can, you can simply select low. That's the option that you have for the free version. Uh, for the purposes of this video, I think a low resolution print should work just fine. Uh, but I'll, I'll do high. And I gave it a name. I will actually turn these units into millimeters because that's what my printer is set to. So then I will hit export to STL, high units, millimeters, and then I can just email the STL file to myself. Then take your STL file over to your slicer program of choice. I used Cura and spit it out on the 3D printer. Thank you.